I have had the chance to visit some of the venues uh, and uh, I've, uh, I've uh, had a look at the, all the work that's been going on to prepare the venues. I'm quite confident that China will be ready and well prepared when the, when the Games starts in uh, February. Was, was the year of cooperation of Finland and China into sports. And I think that that year uh, brought the people uh, uh, in, in China and Finland together who, who dealt with, who deal with winter sports. And the cooperation and dialogue has continued ever since. And, and uh, we see uh, the continuation uh, rather bright. And it's not only the Olympics where we, where we can uh, have uh, common endeavors together but also after that so I, 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 I'm sure that the cooperation will continue also in the future. Congratulations to the Beijing 2022 organizing committee for the publication of the Beijing 2022 Green Games Sustainability Report. As the world faces increasing sustainability challenges everyone should play their part in addressing them. The Olympic Winter Games Beijing 2022 will be the start of a new era for global winter sport. Engaging 300 million Chinese people with sport on snow and ice. Thank you and Beijing Jie. See you in Beijing. a lot of uh, great uh, champions and I would like to wish uh, also to the Chinese people to enjoy the games, to have fun, to be healthy. For Chinese people I wish all the best and, and a lot of successes in the I am Amen Wong, the ambassador of Mauritius in China. Uh, what I think about the, the, the Winter uh, Olympics, it is going to be the greatest Winter uh, Sport Olympic to be organized. Uh, because uh, we have been invited again to see the infrastructure. And these are the infrastructure that have never been used before in terms of ecological way of doing things. And there's no doubt that, that the Beijing Olympic in 2022 will be a great success.